everyone, welcome back to Creating Hanley. I am Kimberly at Creating Hanley, and in today's block of the month for our spring, April block of the month, sew along, quilt along, I am doing a simple bear paw quilt block. Bear paw quilt block. So, this is on point. Normally, with a square, it's, it's like this. So I made it super simple and only used two colors. So you need to pick your bear color, whatever you want your bear color to be. I chose this black marble. And then your background color. I chose green, cause grass. Cause you know, I'm a sucker for a theme. Anyway, you can use whatever colors you want. Now I made it easy and did two colors. You can make it scrappy if you want to. And, but you have to have like a value for the background and then a value for your bear paw and if you wanted to use um like the same color for this and then different colors for the bear's claws because these are the bears wait here 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 bear claw then you can make it scrappy and do something like that now you can use you can do one you can make this one sampler and that's cool i'll give you um measurements for that but the traditional quilt way is to make four and you put it in a pattern like this now you can be creative and modern and do all of the bear claws going in the same direction if you want to make four of these one two three four they can all go in the same direction if you want you can put them on point and even make four and put those on point too uh, so it whatever works for you guys Have fun with this. It's your quilt. It's your Playtime basically so do with it what you want now I'm gonna give you uh, the measurements for one and I'll give you the measurements for all four So now if you look at this, this is relatively simple So this is a four inch square. So you just need one four inch square. This is a two inch square You just need one so one four inch square in the bear color one four two inch square in the background now you need two um, four claws so you need two of your background color and you need two of your bear color in two and three quarter inches so you need two and three quarter inches in your background and two and three quarter inch squares in your bear color to make it simple and uniform that's all you need to make one square now you have to multiply that by four if you want to make four of these right so you need eight here's my my quilt notebook you need eight uh two and a half inch sorry not two and a half two and three quarter inch in the background color eight two and three quarter inch in the background color and then um to make the half square triangles you need eight in the bear color so two and three quarter inch in the bear color so now you should have 16 of two and three quarter inch total eight and eight okay so that makes these little guys right here the half square triangles okay now to make part of the um to make the the bear paw the part that he steps or she steps down on you need four of these four inch squares so four of the four inch squares in the bear color now to make it the traditional way if you wanted to have sashing and a cornerstone in the center then you need for each square that you make and we're if you only make one of these then you need four rectangles in this size two inches by five and three quarter inches two inches by five and three quarter inches that is the middle um sashing right here in between so you need four of those and then you need one cornerstone and guys look at my cornerstone <gasps> it's a bear i found this in my stash and i fussy cut it now it's flannel so it's a different type of fabric and i hope it doesn't stretch but i thought this was the cutest thing for my bear paws so you need what is this a two inch block this is a two by two inch center square for your cornerstone okay all right, and that's all you need. 
Oh, did I, did I mention the background? So let's look down here. So you also need two, I'm sorry, um, you need four of these squares because that is this right here. So you need four, these are two and a quarter, two and a quarter squares, okay? This one is two inches, these are two and a quarter. Now, I have some kind of in the process of being made. So this is what, this is what it looks like put together. This is what it looks like almost put together. I'm gonna move some of this out of the way. Now, what you wanna do is create your half square triangles. So take your uh, background in two and three quarter and background in the, or in the bear color, two and three quarter, put those together facing each other. And then you want to draw a line, find a color that you can easily see if you draw a line right down the middle, quarter to corner. Okay, right down the center from one corner to the next. Make sure these are lined up. And then you're going to make your half square triangles. And then you're going to get two half square triangles from this one unit. And you want to chain piece if you can. And half, um, I'm sorry, quarter inch. Uh, and the thread came out. Okay. So quarter inch, one side and the other. And then once you get it sewn, cut down the center. So just cut right down the center, right? Like that. And then it opens up into this, okay? Now what I did was I ironed the seam open, the seam allowance open, because after, after you start sewing these into the blocks, it becomes very bulky. So you can see, I, I ironed those open, and then when you sew here, this, all of these corner pieces, they become very bulky. So you can see how much fabric is in here, right? There's a lot of fabric, right? Especially in here, there's a ton of layers. So try to open those up. Now you can um, iron to one side if you want, and that makes nesting a little bit easier, but it does become super bulky. So you just wanna be cautious of that. Either it's not wrong either way, whatever you want. Okay, so this is our template. This is what it looks like. Now, once you get these, you want to trim this down to this. So make sure that you have enough fabric here that you can trim it to two and a quarter inches. So I'll show you that right here. You want to trim it down. Um, I don't, I don't have a thing. I don't have a cutting board, but you want to make sure that you align. See if you guys can see this. So this piece right here, you want to align your diagonal right down the center and then trim, trim, and then spin it around and line up the two and a quarter on this trimmed line and line up the two and a quarter on this trimmed line and then make sure those intersect perfectly and then you trim trim and then you have this piece okay so this is now becomes two and a quarter now you take your bare pieces so now you have your four bear claws take your paw and then it might be easiest to line up the points at the top because this makes a an hourglass. So line these up just like that. So this side continues on in the bear. And then if you take that away, this side continues on in the bear, right? In the bear color. So then just put those two together and then put your two and a quarter inch square right here. So now these are all two and a quarter inches. So they should um, sew together very easily. Now you wanna take the last pieces together and we're making claws. So they look like that. So, rawr, right? Here's the fingers of your bear, the claws of the bear. Do that. Now, if you need the template, just look at this one, right? So now this is, now you explode this out a little bit. This becomes a unit. So sew these two together, flip these over, and sew a quarter inch seam allowance here, 
right along the side when you open it up you can now this is going to be very bulky a lot of a lot of fabric at the end there so when you open it up you might want to just um, iron to one side like I did here just iron to one side that seems to be easier yeah you're gonna get some bulk up here but because you opened up these seams it's a little bit less tricky okay so then that becomes a unit and then you sew these two together so now you have this whole unit you flip it down like so and then you sew a quarter inch seam allowance when you open that up very easily the seam is going to come to this side so you just iron that op open so you can see very easily the seam just goes to the paw side okay on this side and on this side it just naturally wants to do that so just let that happen okay now you have that unit done now these three pieces need to be sewn together so again you take this flip it over right sides together quarter inch seam allowance open that up iron it out and this quarter inch seam allowance flip it down quarter inch okay so now you have that unit so this and this together and now you have your bare claw quarter inch seam allowance iron it open and it looks like this on the back and it looks like this on the front yay guys and that's your bare claw now to do it the traditional way you have four of these if you're just making one you're done if you're making four then make four of these units these bare paw units and then lay them out however you want to lay them out but now that you have the sashing the middle sashing pieces you can add those so pretend this is a, a full unit i didn't sew that together yet but that's a full unit this comes in the center these pieces come down to the bottom and then this one goes on the other side and then you have your cornerstone so just lay out your bare paws the way you want if you want them all in the same direction fine traditionally they go like this with the claws out and then even this one down here goes with the claws out but however you want to do it it's your project it's your fun so then you can put these together however you want if you want to put this together great sew that together um what i would recommend is sewing like these together these units together and then this can go here and that can go here and these go here right and then you have your other ones down here your other bare paw squares and then so you sew this column together quarter inch seam allowance zip that down open that up iron it up take your other one sew it zip it down there you got it right same here same side um pretty sides together quarter inch seam allowance open that up now that's attached and same thing here quarter inch seam allowance open that up now that's attached and this unit so now you have three units you have the bare paw units and you have the middle sashing and then line up if you can hopefully everything lines up the cornerstone all lines up line those up so one column together open that up iron it out and then sew the other column face side down you know how that works like this the whole column flips over quarter inch seam allowance open it up iron it out and then attach this one so it's the same thing you have on the other side quarter inch seam allowance and now you have your traditional the traditional layout but you can do whatever you want guys so that is it i just love this little bear that is it for our bear paw april hee <laughs> um block of the month all right, you guys, have fun with that. If you have any questions, pop those in the comments below. I'm, I want to hear about your project. I want to hear how it's going. Let me know. Boop the like button. Share it with your friends. I'll talk to you later. Bye.